Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to talk about the best time to market and advertise your small business. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Ryan. I own a marketing agency I have for about 10 years in Saskatoon, Canada, the Great White North. Actually, today it's about minus 35 outside, so it is technically the Great White North. It's cold up here. So I'm going to be shooting these videos in the next while talking about marketing. It is something that I love, I'm passionate about. I've been doing marketing and advertising for small business for about 10 years now. And uh, I just, it just, there's nothing greater than helping a small business owner get to that next level in business. So I have decided to put all my knowledge into videos uh, so I can tell more people help more small business owners on their marketing efforts. So if you have any questions about marketing, you know, comment down below. I'd love to, you know, speak about that in another upcoming video. A few months ago, I sent out an email to my email list just asking business owners what are some of the questions that they have uh, when it comes to marketing and, and advertising for their small business. And I got lots of responses back. And the number one of the questions was, uh, when is a good time to market for a small business, for their business? So off the top, you get the questions, when is the best time to market? So is it is it when the... Uh, you know when things are going good is it uh, when you you know for you kind of forecast that things are going to slow down maybe you have a seasonal highs and lows you know when a slow time's coming is it a good time to market you know a few months before a slow time is supposed to happen when is the best time to market your small business the the answer to this question is a year ago uh, 2 years ago 6 months ago 2 weeks ago advertising is always best done when you're already doing it okay it's not something that uh, you should think about future wise it's something that you should be doing as a small business I recommend obviously a percentage of your income each month uh, put be put back into advertising and marketing so you know at least a minimum of about five percent of your gross sales some take it up to about 10 percent that might seem like quite a bit um, if you can't do that much start at two or three percent and just make that goal uh, a priority every month putting that money back in advertising find something that works and put your money into it i've been approached we we went through a boom in the last you know five six years ago and i work with a lot of small businesses in the boom we had it was kind of a construction boom, a you know, real estate boom, where there were a lot of trades, uh, electricians, plumbers, um, framers, drywallers, lots of the trades that build homes and renovate homes were um, super busy. I actually built a home during the boom and it was hard to find contractors to do some of the work you needed to get done because everyone was busy. and. As they're busy, the prices increase because they can, right? So they weed out the people who can't afford it. Uh, kind of, it's, it's kind of frustrating, but they're busy. I get it. They they can only take on so much work. So why not take on the work that's better, you know, higher paying? I actually got turned away from some businesses um, that said, you know what, we're not even going to quote you. We are charging for quotes right now. It's like really, this is going to hurt you when things slow down because now you've lost my business. I will go elsewhere because you wanted to charge me just to quote. And so, uh, you know, that's the kind of thing that was going on during the boom. Um, businesses were just so busy. And and one of the questions, you know, when I talk to people about advertising, they they were like, you know what, Why we don't need to advertise. We're super busy. But what they're forgetting is they're busy not on their own merit. They're busy because the economy is busy. It's just you know it's crazy it does you could start a business today well, this is in the boom you could start a business one day and be booked up for three months you know within a day or two it wasn't hard you just put an ad on kijiji or an online classifieds and before you knew it you were busy for a while so i get it business owners were like you know what we don't need to advertise but the thing is if you're following the economy and you're not advertising 
you, you can't think that all this business is because you're just that amazing and you know you put out a good service and product though that may be true that might not be why you're busy okay the economy if it's booming for you it's booming for everybody so the key is advertising when it's busy okay number one when things are going well take some of that money and put it back in ads you will be thankful when the economy slows down and other people are closing their doors because you'll be stronger Okay, you'll, you'll have a lot less of the roller coaster and you'll have more of a steady, steady ground when it comes to the economy. When things slow down, you will survive. You will maybe not thrive as much, but you will make it through the storm. So advertise when things are busy, okay? And when things are slow, don't stop advertising. It's like, uh, I think it was Henry Ford said, a man that stops advertising, um, oh, I can't remember the quote. So advertising is extremely important when it's slow and when it's busy, all the time. If you have a slow season approaching, well, you should be advertising. You might want to ramp up and advertise a little bit more to get through the slow season. You should know your business. If you've been in business for five years, you should know when the slow times are and when the busy times are. Okay, so you need to prepare for those times before they happen. I would say at least three months before things get uh, things typically get slow for your business. You need to start pushing harder and advertising more. Okay, when the best time to market is is all the time. Uh, ramp it up when you know a slow season's coming. If you're extremely busy already in your business, take some time and take some budget and increase it and try things out, uh, different avenues and mediums that uh, you may have not tried for your business before. Okay, there's Facebook ad, Google ads, there's you know banner ads online, there's uh, business directories, magazines, there's all kinds of traditional marketing, uh, radio and TV, uh, might not fit your business, things like that, blogs, uh, guest posting, you know, search engine optimization for your website, improve your website so you're ranking higher on Google, these kinds of things. Uh, try them out. Find what's going to work so that when things are slow, you can put more money in the things that work, less money in the things that don't work. Okay, get your name out there. Advertise, advertise, market, market, keep going, and, and you know, stay strong. Uh, thanks for tuning into this video. If you have any questions about marketing, Post in the comments below. I will answer your questions, maybe even get your, uh, your questions put on another video if there's enough people that are interested in the answers. Um, subscribe to this channel so that you're notified when new videos come available. I'm on Facebook um, as well as Instagram. So follow us if you found value in this video. Share with your friends, your uh, fellow business owners, and colleagues and let them know as well so we can spread the word and help more small businesses increase their revenues and lead generation through better marketing and marketing strategy.